Earlier on City News, we told you about Chatelaine's annual survey. And this year, it's all about men. 1,000 men from coast to coast were asked a variety of questions. And with the Me Too campaign grabbing the attention of the world, there was no more pressing and timely question than this. We asked men, you know, when they hear women talk about the pervasiveness of sexual harassment, how do they feel? And um, the majority of them did say, you know, most, uh, or I'd say the largest number of men said things like angry or, or sad, but a full quarter of them said um, they feel nothing. And some feel persecuted and some feel angry. I think it's unfortunate. I don't like it, uh, to be honest. Upset, I guess. Disappointed and let down. Would Justin Bieber not be able to put a harassment suit out against tons of, of uh, females or Brad Pitt or, I mean, I'm sure they get grabbed all the time. Let's have some facts. You know, let's figure out what's actually going on first. 9% say they felt persecuted. 5% felt guilty. Mm -hmm. Guilty and persecuted. Those are two strong words and two strong feelings. One of the big barriers for men is shame and shame of not necessarily what they've done, but just shame of their gender or, you know, and that translates into kind of sometimes defensiveness rather than kind of leaning into the discomfort of a hard conversation. It's not saying that, you know, all men are a certain way. It's not about shaming you into believing you're a mistake as a human being. It's about saying, you know, we can, we can do better. And I think part of it is that accountability and kind of looking in the mirror and saying, whether it's me personally or me as like, me as part of this collective of men.